Good morning, good morning. It's Uncovering America, live and uncut again, 39th District Court, Roseville, Michigan, on Grashes Avenue, near 12 Mile. And we got a great update today. And I'm just going to get straight off in to and crack up another video here um, over at the police department. So let me get a few viewers in here and let me know y'all tracking me this morning. We just got done at the post office on 7 Mile. We just did a tour of East Detroit. Please comment. Let me know you in here so we can get started with this uh, very powerful positive update coming out of the 39th District Court. So when I get two or three comments saying I'm ready and we're going to dive right off into it, please come in and smash that like button. Great update. Well, let me know y'all listening, and we'll get started. I got the paperwork right here. Let's have it. Let me get one more person. Tony, thank you for tapping in. Let me get one more let's get it with a like button, and I'm going to go ahead and read it off. Support from Cali. Truman, good morning. Let's do it. All right, so uh, a week or so ago, I wrote a letter to uh, Judge Toko out of 39th District Court A regarding a case from January of 2019 where I was uh, unlawfully arrested, as many of you might know, may know. Uh, by uh, Roseville Police Department inside of this courthouse and they pulled me outside they, they put me right here where I'm standing and uh, they shook me up really good and then they took they took me over there to uh, the police department where they filed uh, unlawful uh, charges and um, the case was dragged out for nine months uh, ultimately dismissed out of the 40th district by um, I can't remember the judge um, Jeez. 40th District. Anywho, a lawsuit was filed against Roseville Police Department. And a $10 million lawsuit was filed by my attorney in federal court. Um, I've been paying these fees, and I've told the judge a long time ago that uh, the case was improper and it was illegal. And I notified her that her court officials were involved and that they were lying. And I told her this standing right in her court right next to these individuals. And I literally called them out right in front of the judge um, as corrupt wrongdoers. And uh, she took note of that and disqualified herself from the case, uh, considering that that would be an unfair trial and it would make me feel uncomfortable. So I want to, again, thank Judge Toko uh, for disqualifying herself from the case and getting it sent over Um very early on, literally like on the first few hearings, one of the attorneys refused to show up, um, probably because she knew she wasn't ready to defend somebody like me, um, who was really innocent and that could really prove it and knew as much as I knew. So let's get to the update. I've told her that I don't feel it's proper for me to pay these fees. Um, I told her that, you know, in the midst of a global health crisis, and a lot of other issues that people really shouldn't be dealing with stuff like this. And that it's really wrong what happened to me. And um, so when I sent that in the letter and I asked the judge to bear with me with these fees, um, she responded with, after she, she read my letter, she sent me this. So let me show you. Because I, I like to keep y'all updated and I do all my updates. We are outside, and that's the camera they caught it on when they were shaking me up. Right there is a camera on that pole. And then um, there's another camera on that pole that's not partially blocked by a tree. And the police department told me that that camera was broken. I highly doubt it's broken. If something happens to them or this courthouse, I can guarantee you 130% that that camera does work. You can't fool me. And it's all going to fall out in federal court. We're not taking no settlements to put this all on the city and the taxpayers. We're going all the way. No settlements. 
The power is with the people, and I will let them decide. <clears throat> okay, so this is a ticket. Uh, I, I believe it was uh six three eighty, and I had paid um over a hundred dollars. Um, and then I paid twenty week, and um, this is just a matter that it was regarding a uh, method. Fines suspended, and the judge totally threw them out. She said, you don't have to pay anything more. Uh, improper, uh, I see Earl Johnson, City of Roseville, uh, request for a payment plan for outstanding attorney's fees. And, uh, hold on, shit. Sorry, y'all, my phone is cutting out again. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can get back live. And so, this is what the judge responded. She granted uh, the dismissal of these charges on account that this this charge was uh, unconstitutional and illegal, and that it is putting a lot of pressure on me in the midst of a global health crisis. Uh, the court has reviewed Mr. Judge and finds good cause to to suspend the balance of attorney's fees so that's another three hundred and eighty dollars off my back and again i want to thank judge toko for uh giving me uh the venue i needed to get a fair trial and also uh dismissing these attorney's fees you know and this is this is this is what we look for we want people to do the right thing uphold the constitution treat people like humans and 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 treat people as they uh wish to be treated okay so that was a that was a great update and um again uh i am currently on a five thousand dollar bond I have to pay 400 a week money i do not have I had to pay 2100 down the balance was 2900 out of warrant and uh we had to pay uh, 400 a week, so we owe another thousand, and uh, it's considering I got a little girl on the way, and uh, we just really need better here in America. We need people to do the right thing, and we need them to uh, call out those next to them who are the wrongdoers and doing the wrong thing. And uh, this is the police department over here, so I'm gonna cut this live update. I don't want to combine this with uh recording of the police department so thanks again judge toko 39th district court um and, and it's critical you know and it's so critical that I, I i let her uh understand not just in that that respectful letter that i sent before but now that um you know that that to let her know that we are thankful for this this is what we look for you know this it was up to her discretion she didn't have to dismiss this so, um, it's, it's good news. So now I can just worry about paying off this other thousand dollars to Warren, um, or to the bondsman. And, um, I won't have to worry about this no more. So I'll send this over to my federal court, um, attorney and, uh, make sure I document all this and, uh, save it. And, and that'll be that. So thank you everybody for tapping in. I thought I was coming out here to hand over money, and to my surprise, somebody did the right thing today. Stay tuned. We will be live here again shortly. Uncovering America. Full transparency. And I will write her additional letter. <laughs> Hey, hey, eyes, man. You know I'll take you to lunch, man, any day, man. Any day. We can grab food, man. And I'm actually taking the day off. Y'all can see I got on my hunting jacket and my Timberlands. You know, we out here, man. <coughs> <coughs> we out here. We getting it done. And uh, this is what I like to see. I like to see people doing the right thing. Okay? This is about right and wrong. Nothing else. Let's do the right thing and get rid of the wrongdoers. That's all we need. They got to go. And if you're standing by, 
and you're not doing nothing about it, you know who they are, it's up to you or you will be become you will become part of the problem. Okay? So everybody have a good day today. Eyes if you want to have lunch. You know I'm serious about it, my brother. Um and that's pretty much it, man. I want to thank y'all. So you gotta take action. This is this is a part of that action. You you gotta take action. Or she could say, no, you need to pay all these fees. Or she could do something like this. So I just want to let y'all know, nothing is going to happen until you take action. Alright? Live and uncut.